Sir, yeah. I'd like to know more about the E-Flex 4 line. E-Flex 4? Yes. Got it. These, the CCM E-Flex 4s, you get some cool stuff. And we're also talking about the AS, AS1 skate, too. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, the Jet Speed skate. So some refinements on E-Flex 4, thinner profile, much lighter weight than E-Flex 3, stiffer thigh rise. A uh, little stiffer up top, but a little softer boot down below. Leg channel, obviously, no straps, uh, metal buckles. Um, similar kind of a system as the Premier 2. You've got your internal quick motion anchoring strap there. Something else we're seeing from a lot of pad manufacturers is a Velcro bungee toe system. Am I giving that a little uh, tug so flexible it is? Yeah, sure. Nice pull, the Velcro sticks really well. Uh, if, I, if I can point out one thing off the bat, the one thing that I like especially with these toe ties is like when they have that reinforced on the edge, because it's just a normal bungee, it rips so easily. Sure. That looks like a little, kind of be a little more durable yeah, over time. Yeah, it looks pretty durable, time will tell, but stiffness profile is a softer yep. boot than Premier. A uh, little stiffer thigh rise than on previous E-Flex models, but still a little bit more flexible, softer than a Premier pad. Uh, overall, you know, got a nice quality. One other thing I want to show you here is, if you look, if you look down on the pad, you can kind of see how it's twisted a little bit toward the outside roll. Okay, and I think that's going to help it seal the ice a little bit better when you're down. Hold on, I got an idea for a test. Check out this seal. You can see how flush this thing seals the ice. I think it's got a little wider. Especially for a hybrid pad, it's pretty good. Good seal down at the thigh rise there. So Jet Speed, the long-awaited uh, CCM cowling the skate. Uh, you know, really popular player skate, the Jet Speed boot. It's got some great ankle padding, comfortable, a little narrower fit. Uh, AS1's a little bit, you know, wider fit. So everybody knows with the power holders, you got to pull the gun trigger, and sometimes blades pop out. You see guys like Tuka Rask having that. What CCM has here, I actually thought, like when we were talking about this off-camera earlier this morning, I think this is really, really cool. It, it just backs a bolt out and it fits inside of a pin here in the blade. Whoops! <laughs> that's a liability, someone's getting sued there. Hey, that's live TV for you, right? <laughs> Goes in and then you just push the bolt back and give this a couple more turns until that backs into the holder and it's nice and tight and you're good to go. So, one thing to point out about the scale when we talk about it being a one piece, we don't mean a one piece is in like a BH, like a true one piece. It's obviously two pieces between the um, the holder and the boot itself, but right. the boot itself is one piece on exactly. its own. So that's what we're talking about, just so somebody's not ripping me in the comments. You, you, got, you got this covered, you've done this before. <laughs> um, it's not my yeah. first rodeo. Yeah. <laughs> E-Flex 4 composite, a um, couple of the features, it's hard to see on camera, but the shaft, uh, it's got rounded edges and then it's a little concave on the side, so oh, the side's so actually... Yeah, that contour shows up. I don't know if you can see that a little bit. Oh, yeah, you, can, light. you can see it now that it's focused. Yeah. But I think the biggest feature compared to previous composite sticks is you're going to get some nice flex in the paddle, like yeah. a good old foam core wood stick. There's, there's a lot of flex Whoa, there. Do that, do that a couple more times. Yeah. yeah. I had a chance to shoot a couple pucks with this last week, and I could just launch it. It's and I'm not good. a great puck handler. Yeah. Price point is 199. Oh, really? So yeah. So like almost half the price of a 2S. Yep. Yep. What if I feel weightless? Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna say a little heavier than a 2S for sure. Yeah, I'd say so. But a little bit. <laughs> So at the expo, I got to try out some really cool products, see a bunch of the new stuff for this upcoming calendar year. What did I get to see again? I forgot. The CCM E-Flex 4 line. I think this is the first time, probably in about seven plus years, where I've actually seen a new CCM product and said to myself, wow, this is, they're actually doing something that innovates and gets me excited. I had a set of Reebok Premier 4s back in the day, and I got it because I thought they were the pinnacle of the technology. I thought they were the pinnacle of innovation as far as gold tank equipment goes. The bungee toe system. A lot of manufacturers are going to that. It's nice to see CCM hop on board as well. Really like the uh, the seal. I know uh, we didn't test it really a lot. Obviously, the show it's kind of hard to do, it, especially on the floor like we were. But I thought the seal was really nice. The AS1 Gold Skate as well really impressed me, or the Jet Speed Gold Skate, whatever CCM's calling. It. I don't know what they're calling it. I'm, I don't really care to be honest because I'm not going to buy it. I was really impressed with how light it is. The new holder is really cool too. The, uh, the little screw to kind of get the bolt to back out and. Put the blades back in. I think it's a lot better than Bauer's trigger system. I'm not sure if they are three millimeter or four millimeter blades. I probably should have asked about that, but I forgot to. And as far as the E-Flex 4 composite stick goes, a little heavier. Well, actually, to be honest, it was a lot heavier, but I find those contoured edges you have on, on composite goal sticks really, really do help, as opposed to the, the sharper ones, I guess, sometimes you have on other sticks. 
um, gives you a lot more control with the stick. And the amount of flexibility and torque, I would say, is up there with a 2S Pro, without a doubt. So if you're wondering for my two cents, obviously I haven't used E-Flex 4s. I'm hoping to use them at a demo day upcoming this summer. Hope you enjoyed the video. Time for a special message. Welcome. CylonSwap.com is my favorite website. Not because they pay me an absurd load of cash every week to promote for them, but because I actually use the website. Say you got something you don't want. You want to sell it, make some cold hard cash. Give people a description, tell them what's up. They get seller ratings so they can tell if you've been doing a good job or not selling to people and being honest. And overall, it's just a really good time at SidelineSwap.com. So go to SidelineSwap.com and I'll see you next week or whenever the next video is.